so I'm still drinking <laughs> in the same can. Brand new one. Ay! Bam. I'm a lightweight. Oh. It's hard for me to tell because I have really spicy, like, jerk mm. seasoning in my mouth right now. No, this has like a, it seems like it has a hint of spice. That's why I was looking at the ingredients. But it's just really more good. like it's spicy. Mm -hmm. My mouth's already spicy. I can't taste anything. I got a little too wasted in Vegas. Mm. So I'm gonna. But that's what you do in Vegas. You were just doing Vegas, right? I definitely did. Just doing I did Vegas for sure. Mm. Not like in the sexual Vegas sense. Vegas did me. Mm. But Vegas did me dirty. Vegas <laughs> did me when it comes to alcohol. Yeah. But you know what? I'm responsible. I take responsibility for what I put into my body. <laughs> I am responsible. <laughs> So my goal is to not get <laughs> wasted this episode. Wait, 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 what did you drink? Like, was it like mixed drinks? I drank drink? all day. Of all oh, the things. I all drank the things. all I drank day. Semen. All day. I drank gasoline. <laughs> I, drank. I didn't drink any semen, but there was a lot of alcohol, and I definitely did not keep it all down. So, Ooh, girl. Yeah. Happens. I had nine drinks over the course of the whole day. I outdrank the person I was with. It was that. And out that. puked them, I bet. I out puked them. They didn't puke at all. So mm -hmm. yeah, I out puked I, them. This <laughs> just oh, puking and drinking will always, for the rest of my life, remind me of that story of the person <laughs> that fucking. What? <laughs> the dude that puked or needed to puke. And the girl's oh, like, got me. <gasps> and he would oh, yeah. 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 together and had drinks after the um Stella, the Stella oh, awesome. yeah mm -hmm. we each had seven mimosas we did yes yeah I know the two of us were keeping track I didn't I remember how many but seven. I know the two of us were like oh you're done oh yep. me too <laughs> we had seven yeah damn we had a lot that day and, yeah. Yeah, and that was seven but we were fine at breakfast. Breakfast. we were yeah. fine seven at breakfast we also yeah. mixed <laughs> it with you know orange juice creole so you know I'm, I'm talking like nine straight drinks yeah sure and it was not mixed yeah. with any kind of fruit juice yeah so no because you just said i'm not drinking nine mimosas well we almost drink nine mimosas yeah, we have seven but yeah. that is how we started and i'm not as young as i used to be yeah. <laughs> yet wait are we recording i know yeah. we uh, okay i was gonna say that's a really good like <laughs> oh we're recording bitch into hey. what we're talking about yeah. but they might want my, my goal <laughs> yeah is to not get wasted. But speaking of goals, wasted. <laughs> the uh, the topic of today's episode is crushing your goals. <laughs> Girl. Oh my god, we should have taken the cash. <laughs> 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 We started out as a goal setting and accountability group. Uh, of course, there were mimosas involved, yeah. but we did show up. We had lists of goals mm -hmm. and what we wanted to accomplish, and we kept mm -hmm. each other accountable. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to talk about in this. And episode. that worked very well until the fucking pandemic. But we're still doing it on our own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we just don't have them down, but we're like, you know, we hold each other accountable through texts. Yeah. Stuff. It was honestly like the the. Previous Valentine's Day to COVID is probably mm -hmm. the last time people exactly. walked down with lists yeah, and okay. everything. And since then, we've pretty much all kind of done our own thing. Mm -hmm. But we, we get to have a impromptu Valentine's Day, faux Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. Which actually, yes. I would like to say that's what I was doing when I was asking you guys plus some about feminine first Fridays. Oh yeah, yeah, which I will be attending the first one, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So yeah. having yeah, having little girl power group mm -hmm. first Friday of the month. 
mm -hmm. and doing that kind of stuff again because we did fall out of it during this pandemic because I know between the two of us I know like you were working on a lot of your own stuff at home and then the two of us were like constantly like fucking at work all the time like no slowdown mm -hmm. it was Ooh. a little bit of a shit show yeah. but I think that we've been pretty good about like making our own goals and like letting each other know like hey yes. this is what i need done um can you girls check in with me at a certain point or whatever and we're like really good about like being on each other's necks about it so i definitely yeah. want to get back into that i like the first friday idea um i think it's it, i mean for me i love <gasps> having you can see me for great from grace i was thinking that too i was like on a plane well oh, you can see me on a plane <laughs> specifically on that day i'll be yeah. on a plane mm -hmm. july 2nd okay yeah, so all my listeners know well, the travel plans now. Okay, <laughs> well for for you two, we'll we'll like record that or something just for your yeah. private eyes. But mm -hmm. I love what we used to. Did we, let's talk about our process a little bit. So yes. before pre-COVID, when mm -hmm. we did these, you know, pre-pandy, pre-pandy. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, no one ever names their child Pandy, by the way. Like the <gasps> new Pandy. Pandy. So stupid. Pandy. <laughs> So what we did before the pandemic was we would write down all of our individual goals on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. and then we would show up together with mimosas and brunch. Mm -hmm. I have a very beautiful photo of it too. Oh, you do. Cool. It was yeah, Valentine's Day. Yeah. The table was set with flowers, yeah, and the table was set with brunch. Yeah, and everyone's around. plate because you guys had all sent me your your little mm -hmm. like goal sheets, if you will. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I had printed everyone's out multiple times so everyone on everyone's dinner plate was mm -hmm. everyone copy. printed out a copy of their goals and you yeah. have multiple copies so that everyone could follow along as we went down mm -hmm. our list yes and what did we do We're when we went notes. down our list <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? What did we do when we went down? We went over our lists individually so what did mm -hmm. we do that for? Um, I mean I remember like questioning each other like about just being like more specific like if your goal was like oh save more money it's like how, how are you going to make that happen on. yeah you know like how much are you trying to save what are you going to do to accomplish that like are you going to cut off like i don't know starbucks are you going to you know get rid of your make more money what, your, your gym membership what yeah. does more mean right? yeah exactly that brings, up, that brings up a really good point about that it needs to be specific and measurable mm -hmm. because a lot of people will say oh i want to be more in shape well what, yeah, what does that mean is do you want to lose five pounds by a certain date do you want to do 20 pull-ups do you want to run a marathon what exactly. does that mean what does yeah. it mean to be more fit and yeah. that brings up another point of you know how do we separate our goals into mm -hmm. categories Amanda, right you want to go over that yeah so um I don't know that I could list them all straight off the top of my head, but basically we made like categories of every aspect of your life, right? Mm -hmm. Finances, family, relationships, Health. hobbies, yeah, and, and recreational stuff, and because career, career, and education, uh -huh. yeah. and community service, mm -hmm. and whatever other categories mm -hmm. we came up with, you know, health, I think you there said. There was like, the yeah, there was quite yeah. a few. And, and so we tried to like cover every aspect of your life, right? And then come up with your tangible goals um, for each category. Yeah, and, and tangible meaning like specific. Like, mm -hmm. I want to lose 10 pounds and run a mile under eight minutes or whatever the fuck, you know, the goal was by this date. And I will be doing that or working towards that by running every day for you know 30 minutes or whatever like there was steps there was processes mm -hmm. yes. there's discipline and consistency cuz i don't think you can do any of any of your goals without consistency in working towards that so mm -hmm. little side note why are you not wearing your tank top that you were wearing earlier that said discipline is freedom uh, that would have been perfect discipline is. equals freedom or yeah Jocko shout out yeah um, yeah no well it's because I have our alpha as fuck shirt on but yeah no and I, I specifically bought that mm -hmm. because a I love Jocko but um, yeah it's it's seriously everything every aspect of your life and it sounds like such an intimidating word but discipline mm -hmm. discipline man I fucking wake up every day at 5 a.m. I go do yoga every single day, mm -hmm. seven days a week, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I take the same fucking wellness shots and, and vitamins and drink water and everything when I get done with yoga every day. Like, there's discipline to my morning routine. Mm -hmm. and, and that creates, like, a solid foundation. Just like any other thing. You want to create a foundation for a relationship. You want to create mm -hmm. a foundation for whatever. 
you need to create a solid foundation for yourself to be able to achieve anything, your relationship, your finance, your career, your whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that shirt, it speaks to my heart and I love wearing it all the time. But yeah. I know, I, I was checking it out earlier because like I'm, I'm kind of like on the same boat. I'm all about discipline. I think that's what we're analyzers. Yeah. Like, everything has to be like, you know, A to C. I have fucking, literally, I have yeah. to have 30 alarms in my phone. Yeah. <laughs> you, oh my God, you do. Oh yeah. God. I only have like three. But I have about two or yeah. three. But, um, time to take a shower, time to drink water, time to do my laundry, time to do like, everything all day. Wow. Yeah. I'm like the same, I mean, not like that, but I'm like the same, like in the sense that there's very specific things that I do every single day. Like when I wake up, when I do certain things, like when I shower, I have like a routine about something mm -hmm. or while I'm getting ready or like while I'm cooking or the way I clean my house, you know, like, um, I don't know if you girls have seen my calendar, like how I, uh, keep track of like my... Um, like my bills and all, mm -hmm. you know, everything. You know how some people like do their iPhone calendar, like mm -hmm. I have like an actual calendar, but like that's how I keep myself like accountable. And I have like usually a to-do list for things like every day. I love writing things down. A lot of people use technology and they use apps. I'm not about that. Like, I mean, if, if it gets done, it gets done. But I like to like physically like write things down. And yeah, I think discipline is so important because like once you develop those, habits like mm -hmm. you can develop like other habits to like help out your goals and now whatnot. You, you brought up a really good point about uh you know using technology so mm -hmm. amanda i know that there's a particular app you like to uh -huh. use i'm gonna shout out my Sorry buddy mr noah mm -hmm. uh todoist is my fucking best friend um on todoist i put literally all of my routine in there so i have it's just it's literally a to-do list app but I just love the flow of that app and you can sync it to your, you know, email, your calendar, your whatever, and get notifications and however you want to utilize it. But basically I have in there like so broken down, like I have my fucking affirmations that I read to myself every day and then I check it off each morning when I read it. And I have all my journal entries in there. So I journal within this app. Um, I have all of my appointments and everything I need to know. It's like my, as I think Noah actually had put it, like it's my external brain. Like everything that's in this brain that I'm concerned will get forgotten or miss whatever, everything in my brain goes into Todoist. Mm -hmm. And it's all organized, same way that we did those papers where it's like, mm -hmm. this is everything that I need to know about my health. Um, so in, in each subcategory of, you know, like health, finance, career, whatever, I have, Categories, I have my affirmations for that category. I have my to-do list for that category. I have my goals for that category. I have my like miscellaneous reminders for that category. So each thing in my life has like this little like folder and it's just like my brain dump. And, and wow. sometimes when I'm driving or when you wake up, you know those like times when you're just like, you're in fucking flow with something and just fucking everything is pouring out of your brain. Like, oh, don't forget this. Oh, I wanted to do that. Oh yeah, the, uh, the, whatever. So I just put them in as general like things in there. I just add it as something in my inbox. And then I can go back to my inbox and sort that shit out that just like came out when I woke up or when I was driving or whatever. And I sort it into those categories and put it into, it's a reminder I need to do this. Or it's like a thing that I, yeah, I want to I wanna pursue this. This is the goal, whatever. So that's how I... That's that is so thing. funny that you say that because I'm like, I, I'm like a grandma and I think you girls have seen this. Like, me and technology <laughs> don't mix. Like, I can text, I can like upload a YouTube video and that's as far as I can go. But, so that's uh, notepad. I'm like, that's, yeah. that's like what I do oh to God. like keep my notes. So like if I keep that with me all the time, so like it's usually like on my front seat. So if I'm like driving or if I'm like remembering something, like I don't put it in an app. I'm like, oh, I'm going to write it down. And like I have like everything on my on my calendar but I think I don't think there's like a right or wrong way mm -hmm. you know like I think as long as it gets done because some people might say like oh technology is gonna make your life better but if you're if you don't know how to use that technology it doesn't help you and I'll give you a perfect example one of my best friends he has um, he has an Apple watch and he always would brag about um, he would always talk shit because I would always be like oh let me check my calendar when I get home right about like if I could do like dinner or go out or something because my calendar is at home. So I'll be like, let me wait till I get home so I can check my calendar. He's like, oh, if you had all your shit on like your, like your, like your um, app or your phone, like you wouldn't need all that. And I'm like, well, no, but I have everything on that calendar. So, I mean, that's what works for me. I remember one day he, um, 
we have like a birthday or something like a dinner where he texted the group chat and he's like fuck you guys i forgot i had my daughter i didn't get a sitter in time so i can't make it and i was like oh i thought you write it on your phone oh, i thought uh, you put it in on your app and he's like fuck you i forgot <laughs> and i'm like well oh, that's funny I go, okay but in his defense him forgetting to make that a note doesn't matter if it's a Forgetting to write it on paper or forgetting to put it in your phone. It doesn't mean True. that the, the phone was the faulty thing. It wasn't the technology, it was him. No, I, no, I know. But at the same time, like what I'm getting at is that he was making fun of me for doing my notes like on paper. A, and, a manual process. Exactly. And I'm like, I've known this guy for like, I don't know, like over 10 years. We're like um, really good friends. And I'm like... How long have you known me for? I'm like, how many times have I forgotten a birthday or anything? Mm -hmm. Never. But that's what he's known for. He's known for forgetting plans. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you, you know, if you had a calendar, I'm right. like, if you had a calendar, you yeah, remind you. Yeah. If you, <laughs> oh no, if you had like a calendar to write down these. Uh, I mean, that's very bitch. Yeah. I'm exactly. Sure. Well, I'll say on the flip <laughs> side of that, my my favorite part of using Todoist is there's a search, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, uh, okay, I don't remember if I've filed this in the right place or whatever, mm -hmm. but uh, Anna's birthday or whatever, mm -hmm. like I know that I wrote that. Mm -hmm. Bam, I search for that and it shows me where it is. I'm like, oh, I never put that in the right folder. I need to go back mm -hmm. in the whatever. Mm -hmm. But with a notepad, it's not like I can be like, Anna's birthday. I have to like read through every fucking page of scribble scrabble shit. <laughs> I don't mind that. Because then you go down memory lane and you're looking at your notes. You're like, oh, I don't know what I wrote that. <laughs> I will admit that when we were doing our monthly meetups and having our, you know, goals meetings, mm -hmm. brunches, I did use to do it and I did like it. And mm -hmm. since, you know, the pandemic shut down everything, I kind of let it slip and I got out of the habit of using it. Mm -hmm. Discipline! You know, yeah, no. <laughs> Like it's so easy to let a, a goal slip through your fingers because there's no measurable or specific date for which to have that goal accomplished mm -hmm. and no way to have that goal accomplished. Um, so for instance, um, recently uh, someone said, hey, can you read these scripts? And I said, yeah, uh, when do you need me to have these done by? He said, oh, there's no deadline. I'm like, whatever. What? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I bring it when I feel like. Exploded because yeah. I need a deadline to get yeah. it done. Because if I have a deadline, I will get it done. Yeah. Because I'm very deadline oriented. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's just how I, I'm wired. No, Lisa, so, what does this mean? Like five yeah. years from now? Yeah, so, so you, they you don't care up, at yeah, all when this gets done. Yeah. So it means it never gets done. Yeah. So that's so that's why it's so important that we have these, whether, whether it's, you know, mm -hmm. using an app or just writing it down in a notebook. Sending mm -hmm. a pigeon. Sending a pigeon <laughs> to yourself, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Having a specific and measurable date in mind, you know, because then you can hold yourself accountable. Yeah. But also, yeah, that's, that's kind of my biggest hang up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to do a little inception on you, Jen. So for Todoist, for a long time, because I was in the same boat. I had Todoist, I loved it, but I wasn't on there all the time. I made an alarm in my phone <laughs> to remind me of to, course go, you did. <laughs> to go to Todoist every morning. And every morning, I was like, oh, fuck, I need to go on Todoist. Okay, I'll go through there, and I'll skim through everything that I need to do. Okay, cool. And until it became a habit. Yeah. yeah. But I literally set an alarm for myself wow. every morning. Like, okay, I know I have this, like, 30 minutes free. I can go on Todoist. And then sort through my like daily activities or goals or you know whatever. But I think when you leave it up to yourself mm -hmm. to just remember what's important to yeah. do, mm -hmm. it's so easy to get sidetracked into yeah. shit. Like, oh well, I also need to do the dishes. I meant to clean the floorboards. I meant to whatever. Like, but that's not important. Mm -hmm. But you just get sidetracked with what's in front of you, and you don't like kill the fucking thing that is like the fucking grizzly bear that you need to be doing. Mm -hmm. So that's that's where like Todoist for me became like important because there's something that's really important, but my brain is like, forget about it. It's gonna be stressful. I don't wanna do it. And then I find all the fucking little subtasks that are meaningless and like, yeah, I wanna do it, but it's not important. Mm -hmm. And I would do those first. And then I'd be like drained by the time I have to do like the really important thing. I'm like, fuck, I'll do it tomorrow. So. Do you ever find that you you end up doing a, a menial task just to avoid doing something that's really important? Like I'll oh, yeah. I'll get around to organizing my closet when I really really don't want to do something, and you know I fucking hate organizing my closet. Oh, we know we were there. <laughs> you were there. 
there. Never we forget. were there. Hashtag, Hashtag never, forget. never forget. I mean, it's organized <laughs> now, but I mean, yeah, we, we, we avoid and, you know, I'm very good. Yeah. How but, funny was it that, like, you literally cleaned that shit out in, what, like an hour while we were there? <laughs> yeah, like an hour. We were like, do yeah. this, Jen, do this, Jen, do you this. We were for so long. I was <laughs> avoiding it. And then yeah. I, and I went back again, like, a couple weeks later to go through my closet again. Mm -hmm. And I donated yes. another five bags. Five, five bags after, what, like, that was 15 so bags? So it was 15 <laughs> bags total over yeah. the course of two cleanings. Yeah. And that was just my closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was just me avoiding, you uh -huh. know, because I hadn't written it down, because I hadn't, you know, held myself accountable to a specific mm -hmm. date. Mm -hmm. So it was a goal in my head, but it wasn't getting done because mm -hmm. there was no date. So And on that, so when you have a task that's something that you know is like the fucking elephant, right? You gotta take a fucking bite at a time. Mm -hmm. How do you guys accomplish that like big daunting thing that you don't wanna do? Well, okay, you mentioned, someone mentioned earlier, like, running a marathon. Mm -hmm. So, and I've, I've, Which run, run I've run marathons mm -hmm. before. Not anymore, because they suck. But um, <laughs> when, I, when I'm training for a marathon, okay, you have, say, I don't know, three months to train or four months to train. You're like, okay, let's work backwards. Mm -hmm. So I got to run, you know, this amount of miles per day, and then I got to graduate to this amount of miles per day. And then you, you get into this habit, but you have to break it down. You know, mm -hmm. you have to break it down by how many weeks I have. Okay, now how many days, how many days am I gonna run? How many rest days am I gonna have? Um, but you have to start, you know, somewhere. And it gets to the point where you just, it becomes a habit because mm -hmm. you're training. Because discipline. Discipline. <gasps> yeah, I start with like five <laughs> miles and then I graduate to seven miles. And then you shout out Jacko over there. Yeah. Jacko, thanks John, mm -hmm. I don't even know who he is, but. <laughs> Who's taco? <laughs> All right, but so. yeah. So, it, like with any, like with any marathon, the, you know, the journey begins with a single step. Mm -hmm. So you gotta break it down into miniature, like bites, like you said. Mm -hmm. like, you yeah, that's why I specifically walk. said the elephant. Yeah, yes. you mm -hmm. take a bite at a time, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, so something like your fucking closet, right? If you're like, God damn, this is gonna take me fucking twelve hours to go through or whatever. So. I, like this is how I do it for myself is like I purposely schedule in rewards for myself Ooh. to give myself a break. That's good. So um, let's say uh, I don't know. I need to clean this house top to bottom. Like I'm fucking moving out or some shit, and I need to clean every fucking floorboard and every square inch of this place, and I need to pack and I need to whatever. So I'll give myself alarms and I'll say like, okay, for 60 minutes, I'm going to do, I'm going to fucking bust ass, on, bust, ass. <laughs> bust ass, bust ass, bust ass, <laughs> bust ass. Uh, I'm going to fucking like, I'm going to fucking kill it. I'm going to pack, I'm going to clean, I'm going to do whatever for 60 minutes. And then I'm going to schedule myself 30 minutes to watch an episode of TV or some mm -hmm. shit that gives me fucking dopamine and makes me feel good. Nice. I'm like, okay, cool. I watched an episode of whatever. Now I'm going to do another 60 minutes. And then I'm gonna give myself a 30 minute break. Mm -hmm. And that's how I break up big shit like that, where I do something that like I don't fucking wanna do, but I also reward myself afterwards with something that I want. That's still healthy, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take a shot of whiskey after I receive the best. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Like not setting yourself up for hey, success. Have some right? heroin Don't after this. <laughs> Say no to meth. <laughs> yeah. No. But I do something that feels like okay. just meth. All the drugs are good. Like when you, when you break it down into basics, right? It's like I don't want to do this because it's hard. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna reward myself with something that's easy. Mm -hmm. And sorry, it's that simple. Like I'm gonna do a hard thing for twice as long, and then I'm gonna do something that's easy for half as long. And then, so I clean for 60 minutes and I watch an episode for 30 minutes. And I clean for 60 minutes and I watch an episode for 30 minutes. Because I'm still coming out ahead. Mm -hmm. It's not like a 50-50 break where I'm like, I clean for 60 minutes and I watch a movie for an hour. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, I'm never going to get done. Yeah. <laughs> You're so disciplined. And I will admit that there are times when I'm, you know, not being as productive as I might need to be. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what would Amanda do? <laughs> Amanda would not be sitting around <laughs> watching Friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Only for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, okay. Here's the thing. I've been challenged by someone to finish watching the entire series of Friends. And whoever finishes first gets dinner 
paid for by the other this person. This doesn't sound like something I want to sign up for. No, <laughs> no, no, it's not like, hey, let's, you know, learn no. a new language or no. run a marathon or let's lose the TV as fast as you can. It's not a productive challenge, but I'm a fucking, like, very competitive. Yeah, you're like, so, so then you add, you add rules to this game. Okay, okay, in between every episode, you have to record yourself doing 10 push ups or whatever the fuck you want to do. I did work out mm -hmm. yesterday mm -hmm. while doing, uh, while watching. Yeah, let's see if we can watch this faster and do 10 push ups in between. Every, or whatever Ooh. the fuck it is, run a mile or whatever. Yeah, or for every episode that you watch, you do like 10 minutes of working on it. I did a kettlebell workout. Mm -hmm. So, so that's how you fucking flip that on deer. So by the time I finish, I'll have abs. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. So that's my challenge. Yeah. It's not very productive, but it could be. No, it could, it could be. be. You mm -hmm. make it. Because I'm going to adopt the Amanda Boland challenge. Yeah. And <laughs> make it productive. As I finish. <laughs> As we finish our drink. But it's like it's like with losing weight. Say someone wants to lose a hundred pounds. How do you break that giant goal into you know bites that we can chew on and swallow? So right. Oh, because, as someone who has been losing weight, I can tell you how like I've been ooh, doing it. Tell us. Right, well, right now. first of all, it was the thing that started was realizing that what I was doing was not working out, and I think that goes with like any goal. Like let's say if your goal is like I want to be a millionaire. Well, if you're not making any fucking money, what are you doing wrong that it's not happening? So it's recognizing that- You have to move forward. Exactly. It's recognizing that one, I couldn't do it alone. Two is I signed up for that. I did some research on um, uh, psychology and weight loss. And I was uh, directed to this app that I've been using new because it works with um, psychologists. And it's about the psychology of weight loss and like why we eat the way we eat or what we, you know, like, and it, it has to do with habits and discipline and all that. So the app, so every single day um, on the app, you have to do a check-in, you weigh yourself, you log this, it's like almost, you don't do it like a journal entry, but like um, you have a group where like there's a prompt every single day. So you answer the prompt, so like every single day you're checking in, you're doing what it is that you have to do, and then it's also like becoming aware of like the Obviously, it's doing the work because you have to read, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like doing the reading and becoming aware of like, oh shit, like that's why I'm doing this, or you know, it's um, it's basically like taking it, taking the information and actually like doing the work because I feel like a lot of times, I felt as though I, I felt like I knew better, mm -hmm. like oh. I've done that before, it doesn't work. It's like, well, you know what? These are fucking psychologists and this is what they do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe yeah. I should listen and like not be stubborn. So if they told me to like do this, like maybe start your day like this or do this or read this article or whatever, I'm like, oh, fine, fine, I'll do it. And then I'll go through like what they're telling me to do. And I'm like, oh, okay. So now I'm aware of what is, you know, uh, of why I maybe eat the way I eat or things like that or what I'm like putting in my body and it made like made me look more aware mm -hmm. and it's like for example a lot of it is like um, about like you know self-control around food which is hello discipline mm -hmm. so it was like knowing that like it's like that whole reward thing it's like you know you don't have to take away like cake mm -hmm. You know, like you can have cake, don't have a whole fucking cake. Like have a slice. Right. You know, right. cake it's, is not going anywhere. Balance. Balance. Yeah. Moderation. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and, and it's things that I know, like yeah. for me in particular, it's like I already knew all that. I was, I just had no discipline. I was just like, oh, like I know what I'm doing. But it was like for me, like kind of like giving up that control to someone else. And it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to pay someone to tell me what to do. Which is accountability. Yeah, exactly. And when you put your money on the line, all of a sudden it's way easier to be like yeah. accountable and disciplined. Exactly, because I'm like, fuck, I did not spend this much money mm -hmm. to not be listening to me. Right, so. and I do the same thing with yoga. Yeah. Shout out to Monica. Anyone who wants to do yoga? Oh my God, Hit best Monica. cat sitter? Fucking yes. River Flow best. Fitness on Instagram. River Flow Fitness. Thank you, Thank girl. girl. Yes. Um, because... Of course, I could like go on YouTube and fucking watch a, a yoga video, mm, or I could just make shit up or whatever. Yeah. But like knowing, like there's like a part of me that's like, I'm gonna fucking let her down if I'm not there at mm. yes. six o'clock, calling her, ready to go. Yes. Like I'm on that roof, I have all my stuff. It's six o'clock, I'm calling her because 
there's this accountability, like not only for myself, but like mm -hmm. this part of me that's like, there's someone else that is waking mm -hmm. up for me mm -hmm. every fucking seven days a week, waking up at 6 a.m. to come like teach me the ways to li like listen to everything that I complain about, like my neck's hurting or my knee's hurting or my hips are tight or whatever. And she like caters to me, but mm -hmm. she's like getting up. She's like, when I, when I like step back and look at her life, she, she like makes sure to go to bed on time to wake up for me. Mm -hmm. She makes sure that she's like prepared for me. Mm -hmm. So like, if I'm not there showing up, like I fucking feel like I'm letting her down, even mm -hmm. though I'm like paying her to do this, but like, but you're I'm, also letting yourself down. Yeah. Not only mm -hmm. I'm letting myself down, I'm letting her mm -hmm. down because she is living her life to cater to serve yeah. me. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, having someone hold you accountable and it's, it's a beautiful thing too, because money is energy, right? And mm -hmm. it's like, I pay her to teach me yoga and I could just leave it at that. But it's like an energy, right? Like mm -hmm. I have worked for this energy, which is money, mm -hmm. that I give to her, which she interprets as her own energy to give to me. So she is making sure that she's awake at 6 a.m. for me. She mm -hmm. doesn't call off and say like, oh, you know, I was out partying last night. Can't teach you yoga. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Like she's there. So I get to be there. It's not mm -hmm. fair. Mm -hmm. It's an equal energy exchange. Yes. Yeah. So that being said, having something or someone or whatever mm -hmm. to hold you accountable is like the fucking glue mm -hmm. that makes discipline happen. Yeah. Whether it's a group of people that are, you know, like sharing their goals, whether it's someone that's a psychologist, a fucking yoga mm -hmm. teacher, a whatever, a friend, it doesn't matter. Like having someone there that's like putting, taking time to be there for you. Like mm -hmm. you get to show up. Cause like, why would anyone want to help you with yoga, with finances, with mental clarity, with anything, mm -hmm. if you're not showing up. So you have to show up first. Yeah. And I was going to say, going back to like what you were saying, like, Oh, someone that wants to lose a hundred pounds, like how do they do it? Um, it's also knowing that sometimes the, the, the progress, it's not going to like look pretty. And like the example that I can give is for example, when I went to, when I went to Hawaii, I was not logging a single fucking calorie. I was not checking in or whatever, but I was enjoying myself. You know, I still wasn't like going overboard, but I remember when I came back, I gained, I gained three pounds and I was like, Oh my God, three pounds. But I was like, no, you know what? Like I've seen the progress because like, you know, you have like the chart of like your weight loss and <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, like it's not, it's not the end of the world. And of course, like I got back on it. I didn't let that be like, fuck this. I gained back three pounds, even though I lost game like over. 10. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like game over. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just going to like eat all the cake or do this or not work out or whatever. It was like, you have to get back up. It's like, you know what? Vacation's over. Like, let's get back on track. And you know, again, like I lost those three pounds and then mm -hmm. like, you know, like two more since then. But it's also like not letting something small derail you. Mm -hmm. And just like have it be like the end all be all. Yes. You're like, well, you know, like this happened and I'm just gonna like, you know, fuck this goal. That's or, a good point because yeah. I think a lot of people they they encounter these roadblocks. They get discouraged. Oh, I ate that piece of cake. The first yeah. the yeah. diet is over. Yeah. So no no no, have the cake, but yeah. then you know, make up for it. Recognize. Yeah. 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 yeah, and move forward. And I think that brings up or a, like any goal, career, life, school, anything. Yeah. Oh, so sorry, just move forward. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that brings up a good point, which is setting realistic goals for yourself in those times of like weird transitions or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Like this is my regular schedule, right? So like, so for me, okay, I get up and do it. I do yoga at 6 a.m. every day. Well, sometimes that's not going to work. Like I had to work until midnight. So uh, I have to be up in five hours. Like I really need some rest. Cool. Most of the time I will say I do get up at 6 a.m. anyway. Um, but there's been times where I renegotiate with her and I say like, okay, can we do some kind of easy, calm night yoga before bed? Can we reschedule this? You just have to like set the, mm -hmm. the new goal for that mm -hmm. temporary space, right? Yeah. So like you're going on vacation. Okay. You don't, you don't want to like punish yourself mm -hmm. either, right? Like you don't want to be like, well, I'm going to only eat salad while I'm on vacation. Like yeah. fucking Jesus Christ, you're going to be like in... In front of all these like amazing it's restaurants torture. and this. I'm gonna make Hawaii eating spam. So in that case, you just have to like renegotiate, <laughs> yeah, renegotiate the goals yeah. for that temporary period. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. I wanna eat spam, but I'm only gonna mm -hmm. eat it once every two days or something. Like just renegotiate what that goal mm -hmm. looks like. 
mm-hmm. so that you don't feel like you fell off the track. You don't feel punished. Like, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have had any spam. Like, okay, cool. I win. I, I had it, but I only had it once every two days. Mm-hmm. I still feel like I won and mm-hmm. I came out on top. So, yeah. No, and like I said, like, that's with anything. And, like, that's one thing that I'm trying to, um, to kind of uh, work with right now, like, with my whole um, school situation because... I mean, I think you girls know, like I have brought it up, the program that I was applying to last year for school to continue my education, it got shut down in December. Mm -hmm. So I have all these prerequisites Mm -hmm. and a lot of schools will not accept them. Mm -hmm. So now I, it's one of those things where like, okay, like I have my goal, which is to get like my bachelor's in nursing, but that whole journey has been derailed by the fact that the school program shut down. It's like, okay, so that's what I'm working through right now. Like, what do I do in order to still accomplish that goal? Mm -hmm. And maybe not let the prerequisites go to waste Mm -hmm. and not like let myself down and like fall behind. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like what I've been doing. Like I've been researching more schools, online schools, out of state schools, even though I wouldn't want to, Mm -hmm. but you know, if it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. And you know, just kind of like maintain the the eye on like the end goal and not just have it be like, well, fuck this, like I'm never gonna go back to school, like I'm just gonna you know, like give up. It's like, no, you know what? I worked too hard for this and like, I know what it is that I want and you know, like I'm going to get there regardless. I mean, it sucks that the journey is going to be much longer than anticipated, but you know, whatever that's, you know, such life. We're going to really support you. Yeah. But that is that. <sighs> this was great. <laughs> Like, re- like reinvigorated, re-inspired, <laughs> because you know this is how I feel like I am most successful when I have accountability partners mm-hmm. versus trying to do it on my own. Because yeah. on my own, I don't necessarily set specific and measurable goals with mm-hmm. deadlines, and mm-hmm. so that's something that I get to do. Yeah, yeah. And if you're listening and you have a goal, you can do it. We believe in you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let us know what that so, is. So, what is everyone's like? most important thing for goals like obviously I just keep saying discipline (laughs) Uh, for me it's it's being specific and measurable Mm -hmm. and having a deadline for getting Mm -hmm. that done without a deadline it's discipline deadlines discipline deadlines and no sorry (laughs) (laughs) dick like derails the goal um I think it goes along the same lines of like discipline. I think I was I was surprised you didn't say accountability actually because you were just talking about it. Discipline, I mean, I think deadlines, so. accountability, DDA, DDA, discipline, deadlines, accountability. Yeah, that's how you accomplish a goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, yeah. I think accountability is good, but I think I'm good at being accountable for myself just because I feel like I, that's kind of like always been my thing. Um, but it's just. Like for me personally, like the way I tackle a goal is like I write it down. I'm really good at writing it down and like writing down the little steps. So, so it's more like discipline or schedule. Routine. Consistency. Routine. Yeah. yeah. Routine and consistency. I think that's Yeah. Like, so discipline, it's for me. deadlines, routine. Yeah. Consistency. DDR. Consistency. Yeah. DDR. And again, that's your favorite. What year is it? Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> that just changed me. No, but uh, side note, consistency is very important to me because I think that also, you know, like we were saying, that spills into other areas of your of your life. And I think like for relationships, like I like consistency. Mm-hmm. Like don't show me something once, show it to me like consistently. Yes. So I think that's also like how I like my, like how I keep track of my goals. Like I like being consistent. Like I said, like discipline, like doing routine, like in the morning, like I have a morning routine. I have a nighttime routine. There's specific areas of my life when it comes to like getting ready I'm going for work. Her up. Yeah, yeah. to do this. <laughs> I'm going to show her I all my to do list after this. I will re-download it because it does that. work. Yeah, you will have a tutorial work. of my life in Todoist after this. Wouldn't it be funny if we have like all of everything, like you said, our brains on Todoist, and then like someone makes like clones of us, like based on those prototypes or whatever? Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but we're recording now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that would be funny if like we like 
someone out there in the app mm -hmm. universe makes clones of yeah, I'm <laughs> in like 30 or 50 years from yeah. now when your entire life is just a fucking avatar you can yeah. take all this data from Todoist yeah. and plug it in there and just DTM 2.0 <laughs> <laughs> if I had like an Amanda like Amanda 3.0 or whatever mm -hmm. you know just this is what you need to do. That's to do it. <laughs> that's to do it. Like oh, that is like, discipline, you know, personified. <laughs> Acknowledging. Eventually, eventually, I'm going to have a course on discipline for all of my friends around me because I've had a handful, I don't know, multiple people that are like, yo, I want to do yoga with you every morning because I can't believe how you do this every morning. Mm -hmm. And they'll show up for like three in a row at mm -hmm. most. And then yeah. be like, bro, this is too hard. <laughs> it's not if you say so. Yeah, if, if you, you say, say so. so. That'll yeah. be in a t-shirt one day. Okay. On that note, on that note, we would like to once again thank some important people. Oh, you're not done in our lives. Almost. Kill it, right? I, I oh my god, my one drink. Courtesy of <laughs> the liquor daddy. <laughs> one drink. I'm feeling this. The liquor sour drinks. drinks. The liquor like fountain is our, sure. our favorite. They're our go-to liquor daddy. Oh, 5203 daddy. Fountain Avenue. Uh, they give us all of the booze that we need to loosen our tongue. Mm -hmm. yeah. <sighs> By the way, I don't know if we shouted out this company for this video, but Salt Point is so it good. Is on point. It's so so good. good. Salt Point is on point. Salt Point. It's two cocktails in each can. Yeah, and we just chuck these like without reading that first, and now we just realized it, and we're like, oh, why are we feeling so warm and cozy? To be fair, I had one can for each. Or I had a half a can for each episode. Uh, we have the whole can for each yeah. episode. <laughs> we're four oh, cocktails God. deep. So, the, so this one is oh, vodka, wow. grapefruit, <laughs> lime, seltzer. It's really good. That um, one is fucking amazing. This is good too. It's yeah. it's got a really cool picture of a mm -hmm. something on the. I don't even know how to describe that. A, that's dog. a wolf. That's or a dog. wolf. Yes. Wolf dog. Wolf dog. <laughs> Made the margarita. It's, it's a greyhound, apparently, but it's it doesn't look like a greyhound. Oh, oh, I didn't say that. It is not oh, a greyhound. So, so the margarita is a mermaid. It's freaking bomb. Oh, timer. Yeah, time to go. Put that money in the meter. Oh, that's okay. Apparently, we have to refeed the meter. <laughs> And we will do that after we thank our liquor daddy, which we just did, the Liquor Fountain, 5203 Fountain mm -hmm. Avenue. Thank you to our audio daddy, Kangs for Maintenance yes, Podcast. Guys. You can listen to their podcast on Instagram by going to Kangs for Maintenance Podcast, C A N X. They're hilarious. You need to listen. They're great. I love them. Their memes are really good on their Instagram. Yes. yes. Oh my God. They're very relatable. Follow just, their Instagram. If you just follow them for the memes alone, you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're very relatable. We also have our new merch that we just recently released. Ooh. It's our Alpha AF design, I'm not sure my which is Amanda I'm not sure. designed, and you can purchase it by going to the link. Did it not record? Or That's all right. Just without keep going. Brief period. And if you follow us on Instagram, we are going to start a Twitch account once we reach a Twitch. Seven hundred followers. Twitch. Twitch. So if you want to see it's us Twitch. live stream on Twitch, which is apparently the newest, the newest thing, uh, courtesy of our friend Kyra who told us. Oh, I thought we could do the nudist. The yeah. nudist. The well, it could be the nudist. It could be us. the nudist. Yeah. Well, that's more of a Patreon thing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, once we reach 700 followers, we're going to start a Twitch account, and you can watch us live on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Until then, please tell your friends, your family, even share yes. this episode on your Instagram story. Tag tell us. Tell your mom to follow yeah. TikTok. About yeah. Yes. How awkward is that? Mom, grandma. Mom, we need to set some goals, and here's how. Listen to this episode. Listen to this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So share us on Instagram to all your friends. And you can check us out on YouTube as well. The link is in our Instagram Yeah, you can bio. see the shenanigans behind the scenes of what you're doing. Shenanigans. You're really shy. Especially Remember like the start. <laughs> Remember. The start of these videos are ridiculous. Yeah, course. they are because we start recording the video before we start yeah. recording the audio. Mm -hmm. And it's like every dumb yeah, thing can happen. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. But yeah, check out uh, all of that. Check out the links in our Instagram bio. But check out the merch because it is newly check launched. The merch. Amanda designed the T-shirts and all of the merch. So please <laughs> check it out because all of your support goes toward yeah. more episodes like this. Yeah. <laughs> And keeping us boozed up and you know, all that good stuff. So until next week, bye bye. Meow meow. Go suck some dick. <laughs> hey. All right. Forty four minutes.
Okay, go for the leader. Here. My knees are still probably one more.